That belongs in a museum. It, it, Hunter normally at this point actually only has one, if anything, because they do run out of cards very quickly. Curator. That's a good card, Hunter, if you want to uh, fill up your hand. Yeah, I mean, that, this just makes sense, right? Oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I expected this to be in here once we saw that... It's the, a really good draw, I mean. The, this was the war leader, so... One hyena, one... Yes, um, okay, when I said it, I was expecting Curator, I was not expecting Isera. That one has admittedly caught me by surprise. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll hold my hands up as well. I uh, like to think of myself as a aficionado, a, uh, a peddler of Hunter decks. I have not seen this version. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to anyone. The Murlocs I can get behind. The Ysera, I'm just shocked. You see the air glimmer is going to be the Alley Cat pickup. I, I, maybe. <laughs> the Epsilon looks very cheerful about proceedings right now. Oh, don't blame her. Yeah. Well, I'd be pretty cheerful too. Got a scavenging hyena sticking to the board. I've got a 4 6 taunt against Priest. I've got a 6 damage charging Blue Girl Warrior in my hand. And most importantly, I have an Ysera. It sounds like they start to a very bad joke, you know. So there was a hyena, Curator, and Ysera walked into the bar. Yeah. The Priest conceded. Done, there's the joke. Because um, even now with the Blue Girl and War, war Leaders, this is just absolutely ludicrous at this point. This is so bizarre because this is just a real option of, hey, let's just control the board and drop a Sarah. Yeah, and that, do it. That just wins me the game from this point. <laughs> and look at the face. <laughs> uh, dude, half of him is like, okay, you win this round. You, you play your Sarah. Okay. Well, there's a way your Sarah can be dealt with. Hmm. That is a very good point. One Vile Spine Slayer, please. <gasps> Tortolan Prime. Oh, please. Two tech. Do it. Do it for science. Do it. I've never seen this card go off. It's actually not quite as catastrophically bad as you might think it is because it's um, Discover a spell. You know, you get the chance of, like, say, if, like, Twisting Nether or Doom oh. comes up, you just pick that. Yeah, Master Spell, sweet. Mine! <gasps> no. Oh, two no. do it. You never do risk it. this. Do it for Poland. You never. For your country. You <gasps> never risk. Oh, he does. He does. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Look at Epsilon's face. There was a moment. Oh, actually, to be fair, Random Tuck, since Master Spell only hits one side of the board, the random target could have targeted back at your side of the board, so it's actually a risk either way in that regard. Oh, does it work like that? Yes, it does. But you can't ever mind control your own minion, right? No. Because, so, um, yeah, like, Nog and, Nog and Fogger actually allows illegal things to do yeah, as yeah. well, so I, so I presume that it works in the same way as okay, that. Well, that would have been a pretty impressive overall. <laughs> to just bring notes. Fair play to that. You've got my respect. And the respect of Poland. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to go for the glory plays. How much damage is this even? A lot. Uh, six damage charging Blue Girl alongside the eight they have. That's 14, 19 with the Nightmare. He's one damage off, two from the Hero Power. Lethal. She, sorry, Epsilon is, is has two extra two from the Hero Power. I believe that is just 21. G, G. What a way to go. You just got beat up by Murloc, Dragon, Beast. Hunter with you, Sarah. Bit of, a, <laughs> bit of a celebration there from Epsilon. Very happy to get that first point on the board for Mexico. And things are going downhill for Poland already. 1-0 victory. Looking pretty happy with the team there. Well, on comps with the team, should I say. How could you not be? You've just played a curator and a Sarah and then killed your opponent.